team like Kyrie and KD Or the Lake Show with King James and AD Wish I could match him up with the bad boys from the 80s But no black and white, I need that in HD Yeah, dog Yo, what's good y'all? It's your boy Ann Hen Dog and we back to it. You know how we do it. Will Chamberlain explains why he's better than Michael Jordan and did Will Chamberlain really score 100 points? I got two videos for y'all in one. But before we get into it, make sure we subscribe to the channel. We're on the way to 10K. So help me out, man. If you're not subscribed to the channel and you're watching this video, Go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and like this video if you like it. Go ahead and write something in the comments. Let me know how y'all feel about is Will Chamberlain better than Michael Jordan? And do y'all think he really scored 100 points? I'm combining two videos in one. Like, I think that's necessary. Both videos are only like four and a half minutes, so it'll probably only be like 10 minutes worth of videos still. So I feel like it was only right to, you know, include two videos in one. I reacted to a Will Chamberlain video yesterday. And I thought it was really good. So I woke up this morning still thinking about Wilt Paws. And I was just like, let me just dive a little bit more into Wilt Chamberlain. So that's what we're doing, man. We're about to get into these videos. We got Wilt Chamberlain explains why he was better than Michael Jordan. And did Wilt Chamberlain really score 100 points? Let's get it. He asked Michael Jordan uh, a few months ago. He said, Michael, now don't be you know, shy and don't be this and don't be that. Are you the best basketball player to ever play? And Michael said, yes. Michael Jordan and you, for a while, went back and forth. And he's at a different level of celebrity, isn't right. he? Only because of the, the, the different kinds of media exposure mm -hmm. that he's been given. If the two of you were in a room together, where do you think your conversation would, would focus, the two of you? Well, well, you know, first, you know... We're at the NBA's all-time team celebration, Cleveland, 1997. And over in the corner is Will and Michael Jordan. And they're sitting at a table arguing vociferously as to who the greatest player of all time was. And they're yeah, really That's crazy. So yeah, you right there that's watching. Answer is, who's better? Will Chamberlain or Michael Jordan? I didn't think that it was that many people out here that uh, feel like Will is the GOAT. But like I said, when I reacted to that video, I had people in the comments like, I think Will is the best player of all time. His athleticism. Uh... Just like his speed, just everything about how he played the game. And they said on top of that, he had to kind of finesse his game because they they were saying that he was like too rugged. So he had to finesse the game where they was gonna keep calling offensive fouls on him and you know it was gonna he was gonna it was gonna be tough for him. So he had to kind of be a finesse player. So just imagine if he would have played like in Shaq's era or something, like he would have been even more dominant. So I'm like, I don't know, man. Like, that's why I love these reaction videos because I'm learning, you know, new stuff about these players. So let me know. Do y'all think that Will Chamberlain is better than Michael Jordan? Yes or no? It's just, it just intense as could be. Hey, does it steam you that Michael Jordan gets paid so much and you were 10 times the player he is? And you never got that kind of big Ten money. Ten times the player? Do you ever say to yourself, am I better than... Do you consider yourself... Like, yeah, is he better than you were? It bothers you when people talk about him as being the greatest player of all time. Well, it bothers me because we all have our opinions. And I don't think that, you know, uh, commensurate with uh, what he's doing, what he's done, and, and, the, and how the game is going today, that he, he's better than uh, a number of people. I a number of people. Jordan is the greatest basketball player I've ever left. Mm -hmm. I would put you number two only because you only won two championships. Now people are going to say, well, you know what, he had a lot of stats and this and that. You won two world championships, okay? I have a friend of mine. Gotta that win. About once a week. You know what he says about Michael's four championships? Mm -hmm. He doesn't say anything about it. Yeah, why? Because, because he has 11. <laughs> he has 11. So I don't think, uh, you know, you can predicate how great a guy really is or because he has championships. There's a lot of guys on those championship teams who've done nothing. The greatest scorer of all time? Not even. Would you well, even give him that? Well, you know, you see, what people don't remember was that my first seven years, I scored a lot of points. Then I stopped scoring on my own volition. Uh, I tried to do other nice. things. I was asked to do other things, and that's what I did. So if I had continued to score, I would probably be out to 40 points for my whole my whole lifetime. It kind of brings up a great point, though, y'all. It brings up a great point. Like, a lot of people always say Jordan is the GOAT because of his six rings. So if we're, if we're basing it off rings, then Bill Russell has to be the GOAT. It has to be one or the other, and if we're going off points... 
then Will gotta be the GOAT. So I, I get it why people, you know, is is kind of skeptical, especially with people like Will Chamberlain and, you know, those people that grew up watching him. I see people are skeptical of calling Jordan the GOAT, but I don't know, man. Just just watching the highlights of each player, like over the last six to seven months, I didn't watch a lot of old school basketball, and I still don't think that there's been a player better than Michael Jordan, man, but... Maybe I gotta keep watching some of this Will stuff. Maybe I gotta keep watching. That make me a best scorer, I really don't know. But one thing I do know, that all the years where I was usually scoring all those points, I was leading the league in percentile shooting. And that's also important Fishing. because if you take all the shots, then you should be making the highest percentage. So when they compare me with Michael, Michael's averaging 31 points for his lifetime. I average about 30 points for a lifetime. But I stopped scoring. I know that basketball is a team game, right? And you've already made Michael number one. Mm -hmm. But if you had to have Will against Michael, my prime and his prime, how much money would you be willing to bet? <laughs> wow, that's tough. <laughs> so I guess this is a different question than just who's better. But yeah, if you got Michael Jordan, what his prime was probably like what 92, 93 maybe. That was his prime. So would you take that Jordan or would you take that prime Will Chamberlain? I don't know what year he was in his prime, but the prime Will Chamberlain or the prime Michael Jordan. If you if you a GM, you that's watching, and you got the number one pick, are you picking Jordan? You picking that 6'6 guard that can score and defend and, you know, do all those type of things? Or are you picking that big that can pass, score, rebound, block shots, like do everything? Like, I don't know. I think that's a different... It's a tougher question than just who's better, because I think I might take Michael Jordan as the better player, but I don't know. That first pick, I might pick Wilt, man. I don't know. I don't know. Let me know, though. Evan, and he's uh, like 197 pounds. Mm -hmm. Coming into what we call our domain, the pivot mm -hmm. for us big guys, mm -hmm. would not have been very wise of Michael, you know, if he was playing during our time. Uh, so we would say, uh, Michael, you know, as long as you do all those fancy things outside of where we are, that's fine. Do you think you could have been Michael in your prime? He would take the outside. He shoots from the three-point arc. Then you try to come on and get him. He's right. He dribble around. I run 109, 5, 100 meters around 10, 10, 10, 2, and then that area. 52 vertical. A 52, 52 vertical. vertical jump. By the way, what's what's Michael Jordan's vertical jump? Do you know? I don't think it's quite that high. Not as high. But... Bench press almost 600 pounds. 52 inch vertical at 7 foot? Oh, yeah, I ain't, I ain't know that. I, I don't believe that, man. I don't know. Michael would probably be going... Wait a minute, 600 pounds? 600 pounds. You think uh, he'd have been crushed, is what you're saying? I don't think. I know he'd have been crushed. <laughs> right, yeah. So it wouldn't, it wouldn't have been good for Look, him. Look, crazy. I came into the NBA and destroyed him. My tools oh, man. were so dominant that they frightened me. You were Jordan before Jordan. Yes. Yeah, well, you know, I don't even like to say Jordan before Jordan, because Jordan, you know, Jordan's come behind a whole lot of us, as far as I'm concerned. Will, who always had the last word in everything, Will looked down at Michael and said, Michael, until you are so great that they start changing the game to stop your greatness, then I don't think you have a right to make that accolades and that particular kick away. Sheesh! Sheesh, the one thing I did hear about Wilt, though, that's going to uh, help Jordan's case is they said Wilt was a very great player. Um, in the regular season, like, it didn't come close. Like, he was very dominant. But when it mattered, the playoffs, finals, they said he kind of didn't show up sometimes. But I don't know. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong on that, but that's just something that I heard. But let's get into the second video, man. And this part is going to kind of help Will Chamberlain's part as far as who's the better score. Because nobody else scored 100 points. Nobody else has done that. Michael Jordan, I think, what, 69 was his, was his high? And also, Will Chamberlain just made a very great point in that last video where he said, if you're going to be the leading scorer, if you're going to be taking the most shots, you should be having the best field goal percentage, too. Like, it don't make sense to take all these shots and not be shooting that well. And that means that you need to be giving them shots to other people. And they said that he led the uh, NBA in field goal percentage 10 out of those 14 years. So not only was he taking the most shots, scoring the most points, but he also shot the best too. So 
<sighs> That's tough, and I know. I know he was playing against plumbers. I know, but let's just appreciate him for not being a plumber. <laughs> Everybody knows Wilt Chamberlain for being the player who scored the most points in a single game in NBA history. On March 2nd, 1962, Wilt would be the first ever and only player to score points in the triple digits. That's crazy. With the no threes. Is, there is no foot With no threes and not being a great free throw shooter. So just imagine how tough that had to be. Or I guess that's just how dominant he was, that he could score 100 points by not being a good free throw shooter and not shooting not one three. Like, that's crazy. Even though they about to talk about it right here, how there was no videotape. There's, there's no film of this 100-point game. So you, you right there that's watching this, do y'all really believe that he scored 100 points? Y'all ever, ever played that game Telephone? Where uh, I, play, I, I did it in school one time where uh, you whisper something in somebody's ear and you keep whispering down the judge's ear like probably like 20, 30 times down somebody's ear and then you try to figure out what the very first phrase was and how it changed to when the very last person got it. Like that's kind of how this was. So maybe he had, maybe he shot 100% from the field or something. Like maybe it was something like that and it just from generation to generation just keep getting, you know, evolved into <laughs> Will Chamberlain scoring 100 points. ...of Will scoring this insane amount of points. The only thing is, there is no footage of Wilt scoring this insane no amount footage. of points. The only proof we have is the official box score for that game we and four shots. perhaps some witnesses. The crowd for that game was very small though, and there were very few reporters that traveled to cover that game. Some conspiracy theorists are questioning whether this scoring feat really happened. They argue that without video proof, it was something that was exaggerated. Back then, the game was different, and the league was different. Something of this feat could never happen in the NBA today. So the damn, look at the, look at the top four in the MVP race, bro. They all went crazy. Bill Russell averaged 19 points and 24 rebounds. Will averaged 50 points and 25 rebounds. Oscar Robertson averaged a triple double with 31 points per game. Oh yeah, I need to do some Oscar Robertson videos. I'm gonna do an Oscar Robertson video right after I get done with this one. And Elgin Baylor averaged 38 and 19. Wow, these boys are putting up numbers. Something of this feat could never happen in the NBA today. So did Wilt's 100-point game Question really one. happen? The answer is a simple yes. There's a radio broadcast from that exact game. Okay. Take a listen to some of it Radio broadcast, in the fourth okay. quarter of that game. Rodgers goes along to Chamberlain. He's got it. He's trying to get up. He shoots. So good. He took 63 shots. I, I seen the four, the four uh, misses. I thought that was field goals. That was free throws. He went 36 from 63 from the field. He was getting them up. <laughs> he must have been in great shape, too, by the way. John Lickenbill. Back to Chamberlain. He shoots. No good. How many rebounds did he have? Oh, yeah. They even said it was 100 points from the jump. No, no telephone. <laughs> Not 50, double of 50. People, people get happy when you score 50. He doubled that. And he so still yes, had 46 seconds left. Will Chamberlain defied all odds and actually did score 100 points, but the game was way overhyped. Wilt was playing a New York Knicks team that entered the game with a record of 27 and 45, I don't care. which was the worst in the league. The Knicks were missing their starting center, Phil Jordan, because of flu-like symptoms. So Daryl Imhoff, a 6'10 center, took his place and was the one with the tall task of guarding the 7'1 giant, Wilt Chamberlain. Imhoff played 20 minutes until he got into foul trouble. Here's a quote from Imhoff after he had gotten his third foul of the ball game. He was probably well, happy. 
Why don't you just give the guy a hundred now, and we'll all go home? <laughs> Little he did he did know. It. And since Imhoff was in foul trouble, that forced Cleveland Buckner, a 6'9 rookie, to now guard Wilt. That's tough. The rest is history. That's tough. Wilt went on to dominate his matchups for easy baskets, not to mention his teammates were feeding him the ball, sacrificing their own numbers. But that wasn't it. Frank McGuire, the head coach of the Warriors at the time, put in his backups late in the fourth quarter to foul the Knicks players to get the ball back in Wilt's hands as fast as possible. But that doesn't mean his accomplishment still isn't ridiculous say, and of course. difficult. It's just that Wilt was given too much credit. No player in NBA history has come any closer than 19 points from this record-setting total. Which, of course, was Kobe Bryant's infamous 81-point yes, game. Yes, sir. Speak. So when you think about Wilt's 100-point game, just remember, it was a spectacular feat, but overhyped. Overhyped. And thank you guys for watching this video. I used to do these NBA documentary-type videos last year until I started doing 2K What Ifs and all that. But if you guys enjoyed, be sure you leave a like. I would appreciate it if you get this video to 1,000 likes. And with that being said, be sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm out. So yeah, great video. great video. I think this video kind of confirmed that he scored 100 points because I never heard that that radio, um, the radio from the game. And they were saying, right, when he scored his 100, people got to running on the court and they made a super big deal out of it because that is a big deal. I don't care who he was playing against. Like, if he was playing against six three guards, the fact that he still was able to be disciplined enough and in enough shape to score 100 points is impressive no matter who he was playing. But I hope y'all enjoyed that video. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel if y'all haven't already. Make sure y'all like this video. If y'all like this video, then go ahead and write something in the comments. Yeah, let me know. If is it people out there that's really saying Will is better than Michael Jordan? Let me know in the comments, man, and why. Let me know why I think Will is better than Michael Jordan.